And some readers have wondered how in the world um, I didn't ruin my hands extruding all of these canes, and all of these triangles, because as you know, turning a crank on an extruder can be really brutal on hands, and hands are our most uh, valuable tool, and they're not replaceable. So I'm going to show you a few tricks I've come up with so that I can extrude lots of triangles, lots of shapes with an extruder uh, painlessly. Um, this is a Macon's extruder, uh, except it's made for metal clay. And it's a $50 stainless steel extruder too. And the reason I use that is the tolerances in the extruder are much uh, tighter and so I never have to clean the extruder. Whereas with the others, that be, the other green aluminum ones and other ones that I've tried, it, cleaning the extruder becomes a, a total nuisance. So that it's worth the $50. This, this uh, adapter, which I'll show you, it's a, a Bullens Woolens adapter, which takes a variable speed, any variable speed drill, and you put the adapter on and put the extruder at the end. Before I had the, the vise, I did it with a sticky glove. This is a, an industrial kind of sticky glove, and I could hold it better with that. But even this was hard on my wrist and my hands. So I got this multi-angle hobby vise, which I think is working well. Well, let me show you how I do my triangles. I put the clay into the tube. I screw on the head, like so. Da da. So now the I, as you see, I, I'm not having to brutalize my hands to get this done now. So I cut them a little short and stretch them onto the, onto the cane. And I'll stretch it just slightly so that it stays, it tends to stay straighter if I, if I stretch it a bit. There I have the triangles up and down, completely surrounding the center cane. And generally I would ra then wrap it with the same color just to give it a nice smooth finish. And voila, I have a cane.